Hello everybody, I'm Mipasha and welcome to this new vlog. So in this vlog, I'm going to go on a social media detox for a week. I have already limited my use of social media, but this is like the first time I'm going to go completely off everything like uh, Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat, whatever it is. So the main intention of this vlog is to see and also show you guys that is it even worth it or not. And also if I would succeed in it or fail in it at the end of the vlog or I would like give in to the temptation of just scrolling, just checking someone's story, my friend's story, what are they doing and all that stuff. So stay tuned till the end of the vlog. Uh, at the end of the week, I will be giving my insight on how it went and my thoughts and my feelings throughout this detox. and today is a Monday and I'm about to go to the gym it is now 6 5 so I will head out and go to the gym today is leg day and I did not go for a run because of that because if I do both of these today then I would pretty much crash out by the end of the day uh, which I did not want so this is my gym bag this isn't a gym bag but I carry this so I carry strainers obviously a bottle of water uh, towel. I have my earphones. So I came back from gym. So now it is 8.30 and I'm going to like start making breakfast and today I'm going to make oats. And this rolled oats hai and it may seem a bit watery. It will be thickened until it cool down. Ho jata hai. And I'm adding some soaked chia seeds into it. A bit of honey for taste. for us a granola. So here is my rice. And this is dal. So when it is I'm going to have a quick shower and come back. So 
so good morning and today is tuesday and today was kind of a fail because and if i have to go for a run i have to wake up at around 4:45 but i woke up around like 5:30 in the morning and then i got ready and i went to gym at 6 but when i went there i saw the gym was closed today is election in the place where i'm living so maybe it was closed due to that whatever i came back now and i changed so now i will make my meal then i will start to do editing i have lots to edit so for breakfast i'm going to make uh, scrambled eggs i will have it with bun and coffee I had my breakfast and then I did some cleaning and some household chores. Now it is 10:30 and I will work up till 12:30. I will take a break in the middle if I need. But yeah, and this is like my setup. Let me show you. This is my setup for today. I have my laptop, my keyboard, my earphones, glasses. Everything is over here. and also i have my journal and diaries so this is pretty much my setup for today and let's get to it I've been chasing you like the tail of a dog I don't I need to hydrate so I get in water dark like we do I just love the way it feels Yeah I know it's bad but I can't resist When I look in your eyes I don't know what is real and it's a new day today is wednesday and i'm about to go to the gym i am really tired my face is so swollen i did sleep for 7 to 8 hours but still i'm feeling really tired but we have to go to gym yesterday the gym was closed but today we have to go hopefully this coffee wakes me up So 
honestly speaking there has been so much amount of work that i have to do that being totally off from any kind of social media hasn't really affected me that much i deleted the app on monday and today it is wednesday it has been two days there hasn't been any much change other than the fact that whenever like i'm editing and doing some kind of like creative stuff after working for a straight two hours or one hour i get that urge to like relax and like go on social media see what everybody is up to it kind of helps me relaxing but i am not sure if it does will help me relax or it is just in my mind the edit is complete and now i have to just upload it the file has been exported Now I really feel like scrolling through Instagram because it gives that dopamine. No, I won't do it. I'll relax. So my video is currently up in the six minute. So it has been few days since I bid farewell to all the time sucking apps and let me tell you something the first few days were a challenge the urge to mindlessly scroll through the feed was strong but I stayed committed to the detox and you know what it was one of the best decision I've made for my mental health Without the constant distraction of notification and endless scrolling, I found myself reclaiming my time and focus on what truly matters. My productivity skyrocketed and I felt more present in every moment. Time for unboxing my monthly Amazon haul. I got a Nutri blender because my other one wasn't working. I got this book and I'm going to read it next month that is in June and in June I have really exciting blog ideas for you guys so stay tuned and it will be really fun and I will be reading this book and also review it for you guys I am totally addicted to this I really like the taste of this coffee. next up is this resistant band from Boldfit I got these Color gel pens. Really into stationery shopping. I really wanted to see how these gel pens work. Looks really nice. This is the result. But it wasn't just about managing my time better. The mental clarity I gained was invaluable. No longer bombarded with filtered images and curated posts, I felt more confident and content with myself.
each day I discovered new ways to fill my void left by the social media whether it was picking up a new hobby reconnecting with old friends offline or simply enjoying the beauty of the present moment As the week comes to a close, I am grateful for the lessons I have learned during this social media detox. It's shown me the power of disconnecting in a hyper-connected world and reminded me the importance of prioritizing my mental well-being. this book i have like finished 50% of this book i would continue reading this while this dries off so was this experiment worth it and was it a fail or success i would say it was 100% worth it and i think i did fairly well in it also, I would definitely do it again in the future whenever I am anxious and overwhelmed. Have you ever tried a social media detox? Share your experiences in the comments below. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and stay mindful. It's what you do.